a very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger thank you for riding with me currently six minutes past five on the afternoon of Monday the 13th of March 2023 on the bike did not catch the part before this one clicking the card in the top right corner I was struggling in two parts before this one to get somewhere into the wind and now I think I will have wind in my back which makes cycling very much easier than it was when I got to the appointment I had six before in the face and now six before in the back hopefully much nicer Sure, what taxi cab is doing there? Still gusts of wind, but the cycling is a lot nicer. I don't know if this is going to be part 3 and 4 after this, we'll have to see. Well, the appointment was quite intense, I have to say. different go this way we're facing the wind but that will get done when I get to the right of wind oh really yes really I'll be very lucky when my hair is still on my head when I get home I'm not going to go outside anymore when I get home. The thing behind lock and key. Good thing, by the way, I got the camera with me and I charged it at the appointment. The appointment took a while when I opened the bike bag with the camera in it. The power bank was shut off, not sure why. But probably does that after a few an hour or so but I think it's charged let's see I have to cross the road here somewhere no, that's really not the best option but it's a dual bike lane where you don't expect a dual bike lane but well Crossing the road, getting to the right, correct way. Okay. Good thing they got a traffic warning there. Normally they are totally unnecessary, but this time, good choice. A lot of fences uh, blown over. Thought I'd wait on my back, but now, nope. Also, bikes blown over 
over here. Keep on trying to walk into the wind. It's really not the best day for bicyclists, and I don't think it's a good day for for truck drivers too. First of all, we have a red traffic light. Let's roll. I'm actually not pedaling and keeping slightly up with the person in front of me. I'm trying to catch the red or uh, the green light, but that's not going to happen. Let's not try and beat the, the traffic light. That will not work. Or will it? Of course not. It's on orange. Let's stop. Same. The one who pushes through is his king. And the one who has to stay stays behind. I don't know if you notice, but of the bike in front of me I just took flipped off which means <laughs> no drive no brakes it's a bike with a coaster brake so you lose the drive you lose everything Go this way. About nine or ten minutes into the ride. Let's take a turn here to the right and see the left on the traffic from the right negotiate <laughs>
to the, what I believe at the moment is the Professor H.C. van Halpad. KPN building in front of me. Still gusts of wind by the way. Thought I would have uh, a wind in my back, but that's for sure not the case. bike riders. I had the same when I went to the appointment. Let's go underneath the Stadsbalkon. A little bit shielded from the wind. Going this way, let's have a look what the best thing, our best option is. The most safe way, I think, would be to the right. Quite easily been done, that's nice. Speeding up now. Actually, now wind in the back. Enjoyable. Actually, there we only can go 15 kilometers an hour. At least that's said on the ground. Something that was written on the ground said so. Let's find a spot to stop and click on the next part, or start the next part, I mean. Don't click on the next part, you do. Maurits Dwarsstraat. Let's end this. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box. I'll see you in the last part, part 4. Have a great day and like always, be safe out there.